What's up guys, this is Versace Giuliani with Mission Complete Gaming. Today we're going to do a little tutorial for Sea of Thieves and how to complete the Gold Hoarder Voyages. Now as you can see I've spawned in the bar, this is where you spawn every time you start the game. This is just a location at an outpost where you can always find a Gold Hoarder's tent. Now this is the map, this gold key right here, pointing left, will show you exactly where you need to go to find the tent. Again you can see that flag right there on the tent as well, and the side of the tent has the golden key. Now you're going to want to talk to the hoarder here. When you do talk to him, you're going to want to select the Browse the Gold Hoarders Offers option. You can select any of the three options down here. It's irrelevant. They're all equally valuable to you. And we're going to pick the Swag Bagged by the notable Chokum Commons because that's definitely the coolest name on there. We're going to turn around, head over to the boat here. And this is where we're going to propose our voyage. And after we do, we'll receive instructions on exactly where to go. Now I haven't bought any of the customizables there for the boat, but there is a place where you can buy those as well as the place where you can begin merchant voyages on that bridge. Now we're going to go underneath here to the voyage table, propose the voyage, vote on it, and then it begins. So when it begins, you're going to press RB, and you can see here where it says a whispered secret has been told on Shipwreck Bay, so you want to head to Shipwreck Bay on the map here. And that is a riddle. This other one is just a picture of an island. You'll receive both of these when doing the Gold Hoarder Voyages. I'm gonna go over here and it is Marauder's Arch. Now I'm gonna pull up the map again. You can see here that this red X will mark exactly where the treasure chest is on the island. So you're gonna to wanna to use that when you dig it up later on. So it looks like Shipwreck Bay is closer. So we're gonna sail there first. Let's head south. All right guys, so we landed here on Shipwreck Bay. What you're gonna to wanna to do next is get your clue back out. It should show you another one now that we're here. A path revealed with a shanty sound, but first the archway on the northwest beach of the large side must be found. So we're gonna get our compass out, make sure we're on the northwest beach, and as you can see, we're pretty much pointing northwest here. And it's at the archway. So we're gonna go down here and find an archway. And this looks like it to me. And now it said, with shanty sound, it will be revealed. So we're gonna to wanna to get out our hurdy-gurdy here, play a little tune, and as you can see, the rocks will start shaking, and again, a path will be revealed. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at your mission map here again, and it should be revealing another clue. The chest is close at beneath the monstrous remains, looking out to the North Seas, but you're not done. Dig eight paces west, grab it, and run. So if we're on the northwest part, we're pretty much on the north part as well. Uh, we want to find monstrous remains looking out to the north seas. Hmm, so we're going to want to look at this island probably in front of us here. And that'll be true north. And we'll try to find monstrous remains. That ship over there looks pretty monstrous. So we'll swim over here. It's ob obviously always good to get a jump instead of a swim. So I'm going to climb on my boat here and jump over there. Now one concept I did want to show you guys is using your charge attack with the sword to propel you through the water. This helps cover large distances quickly as you'll see here. Kind of just swims real fast over there. It doesn't look like this is what we were looking for. Ah, there's a monster head over there to my left. So we're going to head over there. And that is probably the monstrous remains that it was referring to. And it's at this point that we'll probably have to dig and we'll find our treasure map here. All right, so we're gonna come up on the remains. Let's read it one more time, see which direction we are supposed to go. Eight paces west, grab it and run. Pull out your compass, point west. Now you can take your paces while you're holding this out. If you move forward, it'll count in paces for you, which is obviously super useful. Looks like it's at the edge of the water here. We'll dig down and there it is. All right, looks like it'll be time to move on to our next chest. All right, looks like we've arrived at our destination, Marauder's Arch. Matches the picture on the map there. Now we're gonna take a look again just to see that X. Looks like it's kind of in the middle there on top of the arch. Remember, you're gonna wanna use your charged up cutlass attack again here just to get to the island as quickly as possible. So you don't have to deal with the swimming. And for now, we'll just ignore these skeletons for the sake of getting to the chest as quickly as possible. And the charge up cutlass attack, as you can see, works above water as well. 
Once you start swimming, I would suggest staying underwater. It's just a little bit faster than staying above water. All right, and to get to the top middle here, it looks like we're gonna have to go up this way. So we're gonna turn up right here. And it looks like there's a fort here. Now, sometimes there'll be skeletons in these. It looks like we're good to go here this time. But just be cautious whenever around them. Looks like we're getting pretty close here. I'm gonna pull the map out. It looks like the treasure should be right around here. All right, we'll dig a spot right here looking for it. Might be just a few feet off here. I'll get the map again, maybe just a little further back. And we'll take a shot right here. And there it is. Now again, you'll have to fight these skeletons off here. But it's only three or four ones without guns. It's pretty simple. But once I dig that chest up, that should be, yep, voyage complete. Now we still gotta go back to the outpost and sell the chest back to the gold hoarder. So we'll do that really quickly and then we'll be done. All right, so we've gone to the nearest outpost, in this case, the Galleon's Grave outpost. Now once we get here, we just have to sell our chest back to the gold hoarder to complete the voyage and get all the money. So we wanna go grab the chest that we had gotten and put on the boat. You can only carry one at a time. We're gonna head onto the outpost here. Looks like the gold hoarder should be right up through here. Usually everything is very close together. Again, we're looking for that tent. There it is with the gold key. And we'll sell it to him right here. And you'll see the gold ad at the top. And you'll also see your gold hoarder XP increase, which should raise your level in turn. Now, a lot of these things are still lagged. There it can show me receiving my XP, but again, some of these things are lagged since the creation of the game, but I'm sure they'll patch it soon. All right, we're just gonna head back in and sell our chest. Now, some people camp these outposts because they know you have to come here to sell them, so just make sure that you are clear when you go to sell these and sell that one to them, and you are done. All right, guys, so thanks again for watching and thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit us with a like and a subscribe. But outside of that, thanks for rocking.